Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's currently 10.28 right now at night. And my hair looks crazy because I wanted to do a little night skincare routine slash hair care. I did wash my hair today. Right now it is just kind of hair drying, but so far I have put nothing into my hair because I'm gonna do that right now. I have to brush it through. I also have to do my skincare and brush my teeth. But the first thing I like to do first is my hair because I have to put these products on before they dry. I only like these products in my hair when they're wet because I put it on when it's dry, it just gets really oily and I just don't like that. But the three products that I use, so first I go in with the Olaplex number six and then the Olaplex number seven bonding oil and I mix these two together and then I apply them into my hair and then once that's in my hair, I will go in with this Kristen S blow dry mist and I just spray this all over my hair and I just, I love how shiny this makes my hair it's also a heat protectant as well I'm going to part my hair into two like this the mark doesn't have to be perfect yet just because we're gonna put in all of our hair things so it's just gonna get messed up anyway so it's fine, we don't do that until last so I always brush my wet hair with a wide tooth comb like this. I found mine at Nordstrom. But I have seen many of these types of brushes at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You can even probably find these at Target or Amazon. They say you should never brush your hair with, with a normal brush if it's wet. You always want to go in with a wide tooth comb or even just your fingers. Now my hair has no knots in them and I just literally brushed all of them out. I am gonna go ahead and mix the Olaplex number no. six leave-in conditioner. I only do one pump and I'm out like that. Since my hair is pretty thin, I try not to put too much product in it because a lot of product starts to weigh my hair down and it also just starts to make it really oily when you touch it because my hair is just not thick. And then I go in with this oil. I usually will just put about like three to four like drops. So today I did four because my hair is pretty dry. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together. But I always go through the ends of my hair with it. I also flip my hair upside down and I'll go. Okay, so after I do that, I just kind of run whatever's left in my hands down my hair like this. And I like to focus at the very ends just because that's where it's the most dry. And now I'm gonna wash my hands really quick and then we're gonna put in this into our hair. But I do apologize if the lighting is kind of bad in here. I feel like my bathroom doesn't have like the best lighting. But anyways, I'm gonna go in with the blow dry spray. I do like three sprays all the way down. And then I'll run the top. And then I run my fingers through it. And I just keep doing this until I feel like all the frizz is gone. I'll do my hair at the top. Okay, so that's all I do for my hair care after I usually like wash it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to brushing my teeth. And let me show you guys what toothpaste and toothbrush that I use. Just I want to mention before I brush my teeth, I always brush my hair with the white tooth comb one last time after applying all the products. And then I just let my hair air dry from there. Some days I do blow dry it and some days I don't, but recently I've been trying to avoid putting a lot of heat onto my hair. I don't really know if this is weird, but I don't really care. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what toothpaste I use. So I use this one. I have a bunch of different flavors. This one's in the mint flavor. For toothbrush, I use this one. I got mine from Target. It's a super cute baby pink one. I think this is the most perfect toothbrush. It really cleans and I've used a bunch of different toothbrushes before and I just feel like this is the best one that I have found. And this is not sponsored or anything. I genuinely like really like this toothbrush. This okay, so I'm gonna brush my teeth really quickly and then I will be right back. I look a little crazy, but I had to put my hair up so I could brush my teeth. Now I'm gonna do my skincare really quick. So I'm gonna start off with this glow recipe, watermelon dew drops. I love the smell of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that into my skin really quick. And then for eye creams, I've been doing the same one for the past couple of months. I really like this one. I feel like it really helps with hydration. Sometimes the water tends to make my under eyes feel like really dry and you could feel it like it's disgusting. I use this and I feel like it really helps and now my under eyes feel perfectly fine. So this is what I use. It's the La Roche Posay eye cream and it's really interesting. It's kind of like in a bag or something. I 
always go in with my eye cream onto my ring finger then i will go under my eyes like that okay so it's gonna look a little oily but it'll dry down and you will have amazing under eyes because they're not gonna be dry and the next step is going to be moisturizer you want to make sure you're always moisturizing your skin so that way you are protecting your skin barrier and hydrating it i go in with this bioma one it's a rich moisturizing cream so it's a thick moisturizer which i need because my skin is really dry and i tend to just struggle with dry skin i take about a pump this cheek and i go in with a lot of and the more moisturizer, the better, in my opinion. And I look crazy right now. Okay, now that we're done with my skincare, I'm just gonna take my ponytail out. So after I do my skincare, like my face products, I move on to lash serum. This year I've been using a lash serum and I feel like it actually has really been making my lashes a lot more fuller and longer. I've used all three of these before so recently i've been using the grande lash one the first one i ever used it's by ordinary this is the first one i ever used and then i got this one from amazon and i love the color like the packaging is so nice and i don't even really know the brand for this one but it'll definitely be in my amazon store frank but it's literally just this one grande lash sent me their lash serum so i've been using that one recently and i feel like it has really been growing on my lashes when i'm wearing mascara you can see it a lot better so i take my contacts out first and then i go in with my lash serum so i'm gonna take my contacts out really quickly and then use the lash serum for the lash serum i'm gonna go ahead and apply it off camera just because i need to be really close to the mirror to see because obviously i don't have my contacts in right now so my glasses are on now and I just finished doing the eyelash serum. My last step is lips. I always have to hydrate my lips before bed. I just, I can't go to bed with crusty lips. Like they have to be hydrated. I use different ones every night. Sometimes I'll use this lip sleeping mask that they sent me. And sometimes I'll go in with just simple Vaseline, this cherry one, I believe. This is one of my favorites. This one's the Paula's Choice. I love this one because it has like a metal tip and I also love it because it's super glossy and hydrating. This is what it looks like. This one looks like that. It's also really glossy and comes with actually a lot. Like, And then one thing about this one is a little bit goes a long way so you don't really need a lot. And it's blue but it goes on clear. And it's super hydrating and super glossy. So. And then the last one that I'll go in with sometimes is my Laneige sleeping mask, but that one's in my room right now. So I usually like switch between all of those. It just depends on whichever one I'm feeling at night. So tonight I think I'm gonna go in with the Paula's Choice one just because I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. It is a little expensive, so I got mine during the Sephora sale. As you can see, it's super glossy. It literally looks like you're wearing like a lip gloss. And I would say the same thing as the e.l.f. for this one, a little bit goes a long way. You really don't need a lot of- I completely forgot. I do sometimes also use Aquaphor. Actually, I haven't used this one in a while, but I do go in with this one sometimes. This one's also a really good hydrating lip balm. It's all of the products that I use for my face and hair. video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys all in my next video bye